Good morning, you two. Happy Tuesday. I wanted to start off my day by thanking my friend Derek Richardson for my brand new pair of shades. I seen him a few weeks ago, right? Rocking his shades. And I said, dude, where do you get those? I want a pair. Well, it turns out these are his <laughs> These are his shades. Black Woods by Derek Richardson. So he shoots me over my first pair for free. And thank you very much, Derek. And he also sent me over his book, Go Play. And I'm gonna knock it out today. You know, for those of you guys that don't know me close enough to know that I came down with Rona the last few days, well, I'm taking it easy. Um, last Thursday, I was feeling under the weather. I hadn't gotten a cold in over two years. And sure enough, went and checked and it was a big positive. So I spent the last few days resting, drinking lots and lots of water. And I'm happy to say that today, you know, myself and my family, we, we woke up a lot better, let me tell you. So I'm grateful for that. But you know what, again, Mr. Derek, thank you so much for my glasses, bro. You know, I love glasses. This is, this is my thing as a California guy. This is, this is our ticket. <laughs> But I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about something that's just really, really powerful. And that's insurance renewals. And I've talked about this over and over over the years. But I want to share a story with you guys so you guys can get the idea of just how powerful having renewals is for your game. And just recently, um, you know, we brought in a new teammate. I don't want to call them recruits, but a new teammate to our group. And this gentleman, I had spoken to him several years ago, but we never did anything. And he was working for a big outfit. And this outfit is very well known because they sold out in September of 2019 for $3 billion right before COVID. Prudential came in and purchased them. So he was working with them, having success, writing a lot of applications. I mean, I seen his production report for the last few months and there wasn't a month in there that I saw that there was less than 40 apps. And the highest that I saw in one month was over 120 applications in one month. Now, this wasn't just a fluke or this wasn't just one week or one month. This was month in, month out for four and a half years. I mean, pretty significant amount of volume that this gentleman did over four and a half years. But after all this, you're probably asking yourself, why is he dealing with Laurel? Why is he working with me? It came down to two main points. And that was training. And it came down to vesting. And we'll start with vesting first. After four and a half years, this gentleman started every single month at zero every single month it was a it was a reset to zero so all the months before all the years before all those sales that he closed on made sales on he was making zero every beginning of the month and we're talking at least over 2000 customers zero zero residuals, zero income. So he had to start all over again, sell another 50, 100 apps just to feed his family and to keep things going. Again, there's nothing wrong with that because sales in most cases are that way. You eat what you sell. But the crazy part was he found out just how insurance renewals work. And I'm happy to say that you know, I've talked about that for years and 
that's one of the reasons he came and talked to us. And I share this with you because when you start, you're not looking at that long-term game. You're not seeing that. The only thing that you're seeing is those commissions, the first year commissions, the hoorah. But as time goes by, those renewals are super important. We talk about vesting day one, which for those of you guys that are new, meaning that if you start selling insurance for this group today and you leave two months down the road and you sold 60 applications, the earnings from those 60 applications will follow you for the rest of that policyholder's life, which is a big deal. The second decision point for this man was the training. You see, in this particular group, he was contracted just to be a closer, a salesman and a closer. That's it. But once he sold that application, that was the end of the communication with the customer. That was it. There was no more because the company had their own retention department that would attempt to follow up. But what he found out over again, four and a half years, is that his chargebacks were high. He had no control over his follow-up, his relationship with his client. And he was getting penalized because of the chargebacks. Well, in our training, we not only share how to sell, we train you on how to close. But more importantly, we have a follow-up system that's consistent of seven days, 30 days, 60 days, and then a year. And why we do that is because we understand that relationships are rich with leads if you do it right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lead-driven agent. But once I establish a client, we build a relationship marketing. And that not only solidifies your retention, keeps your clients happy on the books, but it also opens up the topic for upsells and referrals. And if you're not doing that, then you're really hurting yourself from all that extra business that is owed to you. This is crazy. And I'm seeing that more and more of agents from this big group call us. And this is a tendency over the years that I've seen. And more and more are starting to see that, hey, you know, I'm a superstar at this company, but what do I have for me? What do I got to show for myself? If I quit today, what kind of residual component do I have? And if the answer is no, then maybe it's time you start working independently with the right support system. What I did for this particular guy, I got him a 130 first year comp. Okay, 130. And I got him as high as possible as I could on the renewals. I can't disclose that, but I got him as high as I could. Over 5%. The man's happy. He told me yesterday, I am so excited more than ever I, more than ever I've been before. And how can you blame him because he knows now that every single policy he writes today and every single policy that he follows up and nurtures is his. You know Ron would say this and I like what Ron Powell would say from Senior Life. He said, "I would rather have a small organization that's making money then some big outfit and I'm pinching panties at the end of the month. So if you're in that same boat, hit me up. Uh, we can do a CPA model where we don't charge you for the lead. We just charge you for the acquisition and we slam you with calls or you can pay for leads. If you're going to pay for leads, we're going to charge you a hundred up front at $50 each. I'm not really interested in doing an order of 25 simply because there's so much logistics, there's so much work behind the scenes to get you your calls every day that 25 don't make no sense to me. 
In fact, you can go and, and buy leads from EverQuote Pro on their uh, bidding system for less than 25 leads. So um, if you want to come and work with us, 100 up front, we provide you free training. We stand behind that training. We give a 20% guarantee. And we've had success with that for years. So you guys enjoy your week. I'm going to try to recover from this Rona. And see you guys at the top. Peace.